Okay, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to. Um, math task. Math task 89. Yeah, math task 89. So we, we 3D printed this shape today. And it is a pretty interesting shape. What do you think? So it looks like it's... If, it looks like there's like a bunch of dodecahedrons. It looks like a fractal because... So it looks like you're stacking dodecahedrons up and then there's some small dodecahedrons around okay. each medium dodecahedron and then there's the small one on top and then there's a large one in the center. Cool. There's three different sizes. Okay. And it looks like you could connect these to form triangles. Uh-huh. So it looks like an icosahedron. So you can make one, one, two, three, four, five, and then five on the other side, and then there's I think ten in the middle. Whoa. So it turns into an icosahedron. Wow. So if you connect the, the top... Even, yeah, even though there's only 12 of these coming up, it can form 20. Cool. Mm -hmm. What are some other interesting things that you notice about the shape? Um, these seem to form squares. These seem to form triangles. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So it seems to form a geometric shape if you substitute it in the big ones for pentagons. Huh. You could form a shape. What, do you, what, what sort of shape do you think that would be? It would be a polyhedra. Be, I think it would be an Archimedean solid. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying now, actually. So you got the pentagons on the pennant on connecting up the, the tiny dodecahedron. Yeah, so... The and then squares. Squares, and then tri triangles. Yeah. Pentagon squares and triangles. Mm -hmm. Huh, I wonder, I wonder if that is an Archimedean solid. That's a great thing to notice. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Anything else? We'll have to check if that's an Archimedean solid, and maybe mm. we'll find it. It's, do you see anything else on this that catches ground? No. No? Okay. Mm. Cool. What do you think about this shape? It's a pretty neat shape. It is a pretty neat shape. All right, good job, Hunt.